Needed a different kind of umbrella tonight. Oh, yeah. A tremendous <laughs> amount of rain out there tonight. Uh, I'm sure you probably saw it in your neighborhood. But we're also watching the tropics as well. It's been That's a busy heating day up. Yeah. In the weather center for sure. There were some spots that picked up more than four inches of rain. Wow. Some they're talking about what rain are you mentioning? <laughs> it's been dry as can be. And in the tropics, a number of waves that we're watching and what will likely be our first hurricane of the Atlantic hurricane season tomorrow. I think it's going to be Danielle. We'll talk about that here in just a few moments. We do have Invest 91L. Invest just means we're able to put more data, more resources into the potential track of any possible development National Hurricane Center giving this uh, area of low pressure a 70% chance of possible development over the next five days and all the way in the far eastern Atlantic we've got invest 94 L and that one doesn't look like it's going to be able to last very long but let's talk about Danielle because this is actually strengthening through the central and north central portions of the Atlantic it is moving very slowly to the or, to the east at about two miles per hour and it's actually forecast to meander in the same spot through Friday Saturday and into early Sunday that means it's going to be able to intensify to a cat one maybe even a cat two storm as we go through the second half of the weekend but thankfully staying a fish storm. It stays out in the Atlantic, still he's well away from the United States, but I do think this will be our first hurricane of the Atlantic season. Then here's that one wave I was mentioning just east of the Leeward Islands. This is going to be moving a little bit more to the northwest over the next couple of days, trying to become organized, maybe becoming a depression later this weekend. But most models do want to recurve this and take it back out through the central Atlantic. Again, that's good news for us. And that little system out towards the east Atlantic, that does not look like it's going to be posing a threat to us whatsoever. So here is where we shape up with those names. We went all the way through August with no name named storms. But here we go. September 1st, Danielle kicks in coming in hot. And I do think as we get closer to September 10th, which is the statistical peak of hurricane season, we are going to start to see a little more activity through this month.